4 News starts right now. Well, in this tough economy, many people are focused just on financial survival, maybe living paycheck to paycheck, and they're not focused on becoming rich. But our next guest says, no, that's not the way to find wealth. Steve Siebold, author of How Rich People Think, is here to explain why changing our attitudes towards money is the first thing you need to do. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks for having me. Now, you say people, even some who may be watching right now, who are really living paycheck to paycheck, should expect to be rich, should expect money to come toward them. Exactly. Most of us don't expect money. We're, we're taught not to, to keep our expectations low. Even psychologists tell people, keep your expectations low so you're not disappointed. This is really bad advice. Why is that? Why can, can anybody, even if you don't come from money or don't have a lot of it, why should we be expecting to, to get cash? Well, because we usually get what we expect. If we, if we have high expectations, we start thinking thoughts of high expectations and the same for low expectations and so and, and psychologists know this but they're tr just trying to help people not be disappointed but I mean there's so much opportunity out there it's just crazy to think that way and you didn't always have money in fact you started out interviewing people who had a lot of money and they taught you something All right I was broke in 1984 college student and I wanted to be rich so I interviewed people I've been interviewing the wealthy for 28 years and it's like they're living on a different planet when it comes to thinking around money what, how so? Well, they, they, they think of money in all the positive terms. They see it as a way to, to create freedom, opportunity, all the great things in life that, that you need money for. Uh, they, they look at it through that, that lens as opposed to fear and scarcity, which is what most of us are trained to think about it in. So you're saying maybe the first place to start is really with attitude. You need to check your attitude toward money or the way that you look at it is an I'm not deserving of money or I am deserving of money and I see the opportunity out there to make it. Right. You're not going to think yourself rich, but thinking is the cause and getting rich is the effect. So it really starts with thinking and then the action is in between and the effect is of course a uh, wealth eventually over time. Let's put that into an example right now for let's say a stay-at-home mom who's at home right now maybe living paycheck to paycheck would love to bring extra cash into the household for, for her family. What would you suggest to her? Well think about being a broker, a broker of, of goods that people are looking for bargains right now right all over. Maybe going to garage sales, picking up things very cheaply, selling them online, selling them offline and you could build a really good little business like that with almost no startup money. Very true. Or maybe even like forget about eBay, maybe starting up your own website or something and just selling exactly that. It's about kind of expanding the way that you look at the marketplace. Sure. What about a babysitting service? What about a lawn care service? What about anything, a pool cleaning service? Anything that you can start for almost no money that you could eventually, you're not going to make a lot of money in the beginning, but eventually you might be able to expand and really get wealthy. In fact, what, that's one of the points in your book I noticed that you say wealthy people have a lot of money and they need a lot of services like pool cleaning, like a babysitting service. So that's a way to sort of even f get get money from the rich. Right. 14% of the gross domestic product is driven by luxury spending from the wealthy on services and on goods. So why not serve people that have the money in the, you know, in the crash? All right. So take, a, take your head out of the box there. Think about different ways and kind of open up because we all deserve a little extra cash. So let's go out there and get it. Absolutely. Steve, so nice to meet you. Nice Great to meet suggestions you. there. Thank you oh, so much. Funny.